Hey, so often you ask me how to make these uh, non-Synology NVMEs to be uh, detected as a SSD that can be used for storage. So I made a quick video, quick instructions, how to run a script. So these SSDs are available for storage. Otherwise, as you know, you need to buy expensive Synology NVMEs and only then you can use them for storing your data. So let's zoom into my computer and I'll show you what commands you need to run. So thank you to 007 Rebound. We can download our script that will allow us to do this. Then we need to put this script somewhere in the folder. So let's create a shared folder called scripts uh, so we can easily access it and launch it. So for testing reasons, I'm just gonna give full access to this folder where the script will uh, live or maybe not for guests. And then we can move on to our scripts folder, upload the script. Once the upload is done, we will need to extract the zip folder so it's uh, easier to launch that script. And then we can go to SSH and enable it because we'll need to use either terminal or PuTTY if you use Windows. And then we can connect to the NAS and run this script. So let's Type in your username and password. Okay, we are ready to launch the script. Make sure the volume is correct and shared folder is correct. The name will match uh, to this one. Then we can choose what we want to do with this uh, NVMEs. Either we want to build a RAID across those NVMEs or we make them individually available. I made them in basic mode, each of these SSDs individually, so I can do some tests copying from one NVME to another NVME but it's up to you what you choose there. So now we can log into our DSM and see if those NVMEs are going to be visible and detected by the system. So we go to Storage Manager and then you can see Storage Pool 2, Storage Pool 3. That's our first and second NVME. So it's all looking good. Now we can create some partitions or volumes for these NVMEs. So that's create, create volume. Then you can give this uh, volume a name so it's easier to understand which NVME is which. Then you can choose your file system and uh, that's it, it's all done. Now first NVME is prepared. Now we can move on to a second one. Uh, create volume. Again, uh, give it a name, like uh, NVMe2, for example. Click Next, choose the file system, and click Apply. Now we have two volumes, one volume on NVMe1 and other volume on NVMe2. So that's all looking healthy and good. So we can start doing some tests. So before we do that, we will need to create a shared folder on one NVMe and the other NVMe. So let's give it a name, NVMe1, then choose NVMe1, which is volume two, we just created uh, with this ext4 file system. And we click next, leave default settings there. Don't need to change anything. Uh, give it some access rights for admins and click apply. So that's uh, one shared folder. Second shared folder is going to be for NVMe2. Make sure you choose this NVMe2 uh, and volume two. And again, default settings, basic access rights for admins. And now we have created two shared folders, one for one SSD and another one for the other SSD. So that's pretty much it. All that's left is a test. So let's do some copy paste test from our general RAID from SATA SSDs to NVMe1. Click copy and paste. And you can see that speeds we are getting are somewhere around 600, 700 megabytes second, which is pretty fast. Now we can do a test from that one NVMe, first NVMe to a second NVMe, and see is it gonna be the same speed or faster copying from SATA SSDs and copying from NVMEs. And the speed is actually slower, 530, so probably 
snow jays capping that uh, line for NVMEs. And this is it. This was a short video showing you how to use this script to enable NVMe storage.